Okay, so here we go. Um, as I said, I'm working in this beautiful little book I got in Happy Mail from uh, Honey Tromp. And I'm just um, taking out one uh, page, uh, which is uh, a double page, but I fold uh, a piece of paper in between um, the pages so I don't mess it all up. And I start gessoing um, the front. Uh, I ended up, uh, though, with gessoing all the pages because um, well, they ne need to be gessoed anyway, so I thought I might as well do that all at once. Um, this is a um, Distress Ink by Tim Holtz, uh, Ranger, the worn lipstick. And I am applying that to my page with a foam, uh, a little round foam and a, and a blending tool. Um, well aware that this is um, water soluble so I need to be careful with everything I put on uh, next and um, this is the Amsterdam modeling paste and the stencil chevron also by Tim Holtz so as I said this is a water soluble ink and I need to be careful with everything else I put on this because it uh, will uh, reactivate uh, if anything wet or something like that will go on top of this. Um, now I'm using the brushed corduroy by, um, uh, uh, from the Distress inks to um, give the edges a bit of a grungy look and um, well I have a couple of these inks in my stash and I n I'm not using them much because they are water soluble and they keep on reacting every time you you uh, use something wet uh, or mediums or anything like that on top of them and I intend to always forget that I'm working with these inks and I keep on putting stuff on it and uh, make uh, a mess of my page. So I stopped using them. But just the other day I was watching some uh, videos by Mike Deacon and um, he said, well, just try and embrace those inks and use them in a different way and just be aware uh, with what you put on top of them. So, well, that's the way to go, I think. And this way I still can use my inks and they will not dry out uh, to be thrown away uh, in a later stage. So that's what I'm doing. I'm using my Distress inks. Also um, used the Dilutions ink spray and that was the pomegranate seed. I just used a very tiny little amount because of I knew it was a very bright color and also did some splattering and smudging with some white acrylic spray paint as well, uh, some black um, acrylic spray paint. And this little uh, arrow is uh, a wooden arrow I got, uh, I believe at Action. And um, I wanted to use a crackle on it, so I first painted it in a a br very bright pink color and then I put a top layer on that with white acrylic paint and uh, I used this glaze, this Deco Art Media Crackle Glaze. Um, I had hoped that um, a bit more crackle would appear with uh, that would show the, the pink color underneath it but it was a kind of a fine egg eggshell like um, crackle so um, it did give a nice crackle but you couldn't really see the the pink color that was underneath it so I smudged it with some black spray paints and the uh, dilution spray to be, make it a bit more grungy and then I use uh, some um, black ink to smudge the edges uh, kind of 
To make that arrow stand out a bit more, I'm using a piece of tissue paper. This is a, a, a piece I got in Happy Mail from Anya uh, a few months ago, and I'm gluing that down. And this is the thing where I went wrong often. Um, I couldn't use the Mod Podge or a, a gel medium to glue that down because that would cause the the distress inks to react. So I just used a glue stick uh, for the tissue paper and that worked quite well. Um, and for the back for the background of this arrow to make it stand out more, I I'm using a bit of white paint and. Uh, a bit of a black paint to to yeah, try and make the arrow stand out a bit more. Kind of worked, and now I'm gluing it down with a, a gel medium, uh, which is the perfect glue, I think, for heavier materials to glue down. You could use a glue gun, of course, but uh, this gel medium from Golden, I got it got it is really okay to use and um, some stickers I got from Tim Holtz this small talk stickers I use the word life and I go around it with a black Faber Castell uh, artist pen to uh, um, make it stand out a bit more and these are some uh, lids I have a smaller one and a big one and some acrylic paints I just use for making some circle marks on my page and also around the quote, the word life, I put a circle. And um, then I think I have uh, reached the point that I'm happy and um, uh, my page is finished. Um, the only thing I'm adding is a pearl sticker, a little black heart just underneath the, the texture the, uh, of the arrows, the chevron of the stencil and just date it and sign it and my page is done. So here are a few photos for you to see some close-ups. Hope you've enjoyed watching this video again and see you again very soon. Bye bye and have a great day today.